kicked him in the nuts. My dad spanked me. I'm like, what did I do wrong? And he was like, you never put your hands on a man first because I love you, but I can't tell you another man won't beat the f- out of you. You know yeah. what I mean? And I feel like that was real because a lot of women don't, they don't learn that, you know? But my dad always kept it real with me. I never put my hands on a man first, ever. You really know if this is my last time. But what I know is I'm feeling just fine. My life is like the red carpet. And I'm feeling like the richest me in This is my local man. And I'm the biggest all around here. What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the video, you see the thumbnail. And I got to talk about the, the comments. So the comment section says a lot of thing, a lot about you as a person. And what I mean is I looked at the comments of the video and there were too many people in the video, too many predominantly women in the video talking about she shouldn't have got her, her dad shouldn't have put his hands on her. For what she did and that's how you teach somebody because you you mean she kicked the boy in, in the nuts and you whipped her for that how are you how are you teaching a lesson and a, and a thought came to my mind is like this is why you know society is as entitled as it is because you got grown adults who just want to do what they want to do with no consequence and the comment section says it all the time and not because a lot of times we have people who say salacious things or controversial things and I don't have a problem with that my and I've always felt like if you say how you quote unquote feel or what you think the comments will show how many people agree with you and the issue is, I have a hard time believing that the, hmm, that the disrespect that you put out into the world that's okay to do if you're the one doing it, I have a hard time believing that when it's done to you, you're going to go touche. I don't believe it. And what the video pointed out what I what I I mean the comments pointed out what I was seeing because I, I talked about this recently in another video where I've seen more videos of people shooting other people in quote unquote self defense but in my opinion it's like no you got a gun on you and you starting fights with people. And you don't, and these people don't know you have a gun on you, so you start in a fight. They punch you in the mouth for something you did, and then you pull out a gun and you self defense. And in my mind, I'm, and the people, are, and people in the comments are like, that's self defense. And looking at it like, no, that's not self defense. That's baiting somebody to murder them. But let me guess, you know, that's something that you would do too. So it's a, it, it's it's. It's problematic to say the least. Now the young lady was like, you know, her father said, "Don't put your hands on a man first. I, I absolutely get it. Now, are there exceptions? Like, if you feel like you're you're in danger and you gotta sneak somebody and run away, I get it. That 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 absolutely counts. Is you doing what's best for you? But if you get mad or you get upset, or you get angry, or you just feel frustrated and you haul off and, and hit somebody. Yeah, they, you have no control over their, their response. Their response might be like, hey, chill out. Or their response might be, you know, release the Kraken and just start beating the brakes off of you. So the father was right for telling his daughter that. But look at how we act in society. And, and, and this is what I mean by people are passive aggressive because people do stuff in order to get a reaction out of people now people are, are are not only trolls online they're they're trolls in life you know <clears throat> people are driving recklessly and trying to hit people and cut people off that they don't know because they got because they're mad about whatever they got going on in life almost about to cause an accident and they're <gasps> and it's like hey chill out 
chill out. Because if you hit the wrong person or you side swipe somebody or you or you miss somebody and they go off, then they say, I don't know what's going on. Somebody's chasing me and somebody's following me. No, 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 no. And people are going, yo, you need to calm down. No, 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 no. Don't write a check with your alligator mouth that your canary ass can't cash. Chill out. And that's what I'm seeing in the comments. Like, people are going to have to start responding to these people's ideology about, you know, I can do whatever I want to you. But you need to chill out with me. Like, I, uh, I was on YouTube, and it's a clip of a show, uh, Outlander. I want to say Outlander. And the guy basically is coming to kill the other guy. But this, And the guy, he... that. It's like, yo, if you touch me, you know, um, if you lay a hair on my, uh, if you lay your hand to a hair on my head, I'll basically have your family killed. And he's like, yeah, I know. That's why I already took that out for you. I took out all your people already. And then, oh yeah, you know the other, the kid that you was terrorizing. Oh yeah, they going to get the other people too, you know, with their friends. And then the guy says, you know, but you're a good man. You, you, you won't kill me in cold blood. And the guy responds like, I'm a good man, but I'm also a violent man. And my wife actually has helped me be a, be a good man, but you tried to harm my wife. And now the dude's trying to talk like, yo, yo, hold up, hold up. Wait a minute, you ain't got to do all that. And in my mind, I'm looking like this is how people act in society, you know, to this day. I mean, you know, I could cross all these lines with you, but I was doing it for this bigger purpose because I wanted to do X, Y, and Z. And yeah, I could be a cutthroat, but you can't respond to it. And when I look at the comments in the comment section, that's how people come across. And I'm thinking to myself, I don't know what world you're living in, but you're going to get fucked up. Seriously. The comment section lets me know how close to getting fucked up you are in real life. Because the ideology of, you know getting angry and getting upset. Like, I went somewhere yesterday, you know, and I was I was trying to order some food, but the place wanted to be in pet. But there were some people in there because they wanted a seat, but the place was packed. So they decided to start, well, one person in particular started talking about the other people sitting in the restaurant that they don't know. Like, you look, get more, you need to do this and that more. And I'm thinking to myself, You know, if that person were to hear you and they got up and walked over here and said, hey, you know what? I like this establishment. We, you, you, me and you stepping outside. I don't think he would have been ready for that. You know? And, you know, and, and, I, and I say this because I've been in, I've been, um, I don't go outside like I used to. And I've been outside enough to know people push boundaries and I'm the type of person that's not the type of person you want to push boundaries with. Because some days I, I might not even be paying attention. I'd be like, what, what are you doing? Uh, and then other days I'm like, say, um, how about we just skip all the formalities and I just knock your ass out? And it's like, whoa, what time, time, time out? Whoa, 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 whoa. And people go, well, I didn't expect that. And I'm like, oh, I don't give a shit. You know, because... When I, like, when I read comments, I know people are doing that in life. And my issue is sometimes, I don't know what's wrong with y'all, but stop picking in your mind. Like, people have a bully mindset where they pick people that they, can, they think they can fuck with. And they think the world, some people think they can bully the world until it comes to an end. That's why I really love the end of the, of the first Osario. When he shot the man's whole family, the, 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 uh, the kingpin's whole family in front of him. You know, and the guy went from being a hardcore gangster that killed everybody to, oh, no, oh, no, my baby. And it's like, you do this every night, dog. You sit down and eat dinner after you do this to people every night. What did you? What are you so shocked about? And it's like, yeah. And just like that, common sense kicks in. But when I see the comments, I'm thinking to myself, you know, let, let, me, let me take a step further before I go. I was listening to Tyreek Nasheed. And he has these people who come in with animosity uh, just for FBA. I don't care if they're white, if they're just non-FBA. Or sometimes they're FBA people who are trying to, you know, say, hey, you should just take it on the chin and, and be moral, better people. And I'm thinking to myself, like, 
So you mean to tell me you people keep calling in and you're feeling disrespected because you were accustomed to disrespecting us as a group. And now we're like, nah, it's not gonna happen. We about to start shooting, firing back. And now you and now you don't understand how the world works anymore. You white people are supposed to do that. Asians are supposed to do that. Hispanics are supposed to do that. If the Muslims are supposed to do that, but you black Americans, you're not supposed to do that. We're supposed to be able to, to hit you and walk away and because you're a moral authority and you're supposed to let us slap you in the face and spit on you and use you and plot on you and kill you. But how dare you respond now? I don't get it. And it's like, oh my God, y'all are idiots. Shannon Sharp said it best, you know. He said, they tell you to turn the other cheek in the Bible. Well, I ain't in there. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So people got to chill out with that. But the comment section says people won't chill out. And, and why I reference... The people with guns nowadays starting fights to shoot people. Because what's going to wind up happening is you're going to, like, people are going to adjust to you people out here instigating fights so you can pull your gun out. And what they're going to do is they're going to pull their gun out first and then pistol whip your ass. And then when you pull your gun out, blow your head off. Because, see, oh, you one of them people. Okay, no problem. What are you talking about? It's all good. What? No, it ain't all good. And then when you self-defend, mm -mm. he pulled the gun out first. Mm-mm. He had a gun on him. He was trying to use it. I already knew what was going on. And then you, these plans ain't going to work in, out as planned anymore. Then people are going to go, well, I don't understand. I don't understand. And then people are going to say stuff like, well, that person needs to go to jail because they put out a gun first. It's like, nah, well, they gonna, if they do life, you already lost yours. So that's what you get. You shouldn't have ran out the house trying to do that. And all you self, you know, Second Amendment self-defense people, y'all going to have to figure out a new thing. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I thought I could do that. You mean to tell me people are not going to care? They're not. Seriously. Same thing with these ladies who think, you know, that's not a good lesson to teach your daughter not to put her hands on men. Okay, go smacking them in and kicking guys in the nuts. Because that's what you feel like you want to do. Have at it. Have at it. And when it ends bad, I don't want to hear it. You swung first. You know, you should have been bobbing and weaving. So... Tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, and dad. Try and catch y'all on the next one. Peace. All I ask is when you lay your head on that pill at night, you know I gave you everything I had.